Well, I, I say it all the time. Network is, I, I would say, 70% of the hard work. And, and I say it because when I was younger, way younger, when I was in college in New York and uh, when I was traveling the world for basketball, I did it in a natural way. I wanted to meet people and I always, you know, connected and kept in touch with people. I didn't realize that this attribute I had in me of enjoying, you know, talking to people, enjoying being around people and being such a friendly human being will actually take me this far because I was too young to understand it. Um, but I really did it because I, I liked uh, connecting with people and talking basketball. And so on the one hand, being someone who likes to be around people, on the other hand, like basketball, and it's just connected. But I think it's very, very important to be in the right places as well. And this is where the travel comes in. Because I used to, you know, volunteer myself to all kinds of events. If it was NBA Summer League, if it was FIBA tournament, if it was the Euro League Final Four, I used to make sure that I'll be in all these events because not only you meet a lot of people in European basketball, but you meet a lot of people in the NBA. And if your end goal is to be in the NBA, this is where you need to be. And you need your voice to be heard. And you need people to start knowing who you are and what you do and what do you know to do, right? So um, I used to be in all these events. I used to walk up to GMs and scouts and, and everyone I could in the NBA and introduce myself and started talking to people and they started to get to know me. So if at the first time they see me and we just say hello and talk, the second time is I'm joining a dinner here or I'm joining an event there and they start getting used to it. You know, they start getting used to me being a part of this world and it just evolved. And of course, some of these relationships evolved to long lasting friendships. And um, I can give you an example. Kobe Altman from the Cavs. Um, I met him a few times when he was still a scout with the Cavs because David Blatt was the coach of the Cavs and he came with him to Israel. And this was my initial um, meeting with Kobe. And then after that, um, I was running uh, Basketball Without Borders for the NBA in Israel. Kobe was a part of that and we became even more closer. And then when I was looking for a job, and I saw him in summer league and I told him I'm looking for a job. He immediately invited me for an interview and to meet the staff. And I got interviewed by a bunch of people here. And, you know, you never know where these relationships can go and you never know where you're going to be or who you're going to meet that is going to be helping you at the end of the day. A lot of the people I used to intern with in summer leagues, are now in high positions in NBA teams. So we're all kind of have our own network of people that worked together 10 or 12 years ago. And now we're all in NBA teams so we can win a position to help each other.